done or the lives he's ruined, or even his own. You know, there are a lot of victims in this case, but I'm sorry, Andrew Romero is not one of them. All of the troubles he has, great ad ad animosity, animosity, the demonization, the outcry, that was caused by him, no one else. And we filed our supplemental information, Judge. You know his history. It's not like he hasn't had chances at rehabilitation before. And he's thrown every one of them away, culminating in the murder of Officer Benner. He went to prison. His first stint in prison was for voluntary manslaughter. Then he had a conviction for contributing to the delinquency of a minor. And then trapping or distribution. And then fought possession of a firearm or destructive device by a felon. Aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Receiving or transferring stolen motor vehicle. And then, of course, the crimes that he committed on the night that he murdered Officer Benner. Judge, sometimes a sentence, while you might, it could be argued, it's life without parole. Why give him any more? Because it's the right thing, Judge. It sends a message. It sends a message that in this court, in this court, life without parole isn't even enough. You will get every day that the law entitles this court to give. And that's what I'm asking for, Your Honor. Thank you. Mr. Romero. I had the opportunity to review your history before I started the sentencing hearing, and it's page after page after page of things you've been doing since you were a juvenile. I have all your history right here. But I also have to uh, follow, follow the law. There's a rule of law. And even if the devil walked in here and be charged with something, I had to give him a fair trial as well. Mr. Romero, I had to make some unpopular decisions in this case to get to the trial. I know some people in here didn't like my decisions, but you're entitled to a fair trial. And the reason I made this decision is if and when you were convicted, you had very little wiggle room on your appeal. But you are entitled to an appeal. I moved this case out of here to Valencia County. I suppressed certain statements that you, that you made that I felt weren't, it, weren't legal to be brought before you. For you in, in the court. Uh, that's required by the law. That's, that's what I had to do. You appointed fine attorneys for you. got a Cadillac defense when it comes to a murder case. I've done a number of cases, and these two attorneys probably did the finest job I've seen in a court on a murder case. You had a jury <coughs> here. You had fine people from Valencia County spent three weeks of their life listening to the evidence. And they gave you a, a, a just decision. A just decision was guilty of all charges. What I would really like to happen to you, I can't say in court because I'd probably be removed from office. But I have to follow the law. And uh, I'm going to say five words to you that I hope follow you when you're 30, when you're 40, if you're alive 50. Or 60. Those five words, Mr. Romero, are, you will die in prison. The judgment of the court is as follows, with respect to the murder charge. You're committed to the Department of Corrections for the rest of your natural life. With regard to tampering with evidence is charged in count two, you're remanded to the Department of Corrections for three years. Count three, tampering with evidence, an additional three years. Shooting at or from a motor vehicle, you will be remanded to the Department of Corrections for a period of nine years. That is a serious violent offense. You will not get hardly any good time on that. Attempt to commit robbery, three years. Conspiracy to commit armed robbery, three years. Aggravated being a law enforcement officer, a year and a half. Concealing ID, another half year, for a total of 23 years. Those will run consecutive to each other and consecutive to the life sentence. The other thing that I'm going to do, folks, is I'm going to order that this matter 
I'll commence immediately with whatever time he's doing for the reason that I don't want him, he's still doing like 10 years or so in the Department of Corrections. I want this to start immediately so that he gets reclassified with a murder conviction on, on him. That'll be the judgment of the court and deputy, we can take him out.